Welcome back to Easy Robotic. Today, we will walk you through the process of applying online for a family visit visa for Saudi Arabian residents family members. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. First, open any web browser and search for visa.mofa.gov.sa. Then, click on the first link that appears to access the official website. Once the site loads, close this pop-up and change the language to English. Scroll down to find the section labeled as Service for Citizens and Residents. Then click on it. Here, scroll down and choose the Residence option and then scroll down further to select Apply for Family Visit Visa Application for Residents. By clicking this, it will redirect you to the Nafath login portal. Here, you'll need to enter your eKama number and click on Login. Complete the verification process using the Nafat app on your mobile device. After logging in successfully, return to the same residence section and click on Apply again. This will bring up the application form and you might see a pop-up reminding you to ensure the passport data of the visitors is available. Just close this pop-up by clicking on the close button. Now, you will see your personal information, such as your name, ID number, birth date, Ikama expiry date, job title, mobile number, address, and email address. You will also see your company or sponsor information including their ID number and name. At the entry visa number, enter your Ikama number, then scroll down and click on Add. Once you click on Add, a form will appear where you need to fill in the visitor's details. In the Personal Information section, you will start by selecting the nationality from the drop-down list. Then enter the visitor's first name and last name as they appear in the passport. Then choose their date of birth and birthplace. Then choose their religion and gender. Next, select their occupation status as employed or unemployed. Then specify the relationship type such as wife, mother, father or daughter. Finally, enter the application or visitor's mobile number and email address. Moving on to the passport information section. Enter the passport number. Then select the passport type, diplomatic, normal, and then input the passport issuing and expiry dates. Don't forget to enter the place where the passport was issued. For the visa information section, select the place the visitor is coming from. For example, here I will select the capital city of my country. You might have multiple cities in your country and you have the multi-international airport. Don't worry, check the list and select the city which is available in the list. Then choose the number of entries you need, whether single or multiple. 
If you want the visitor to visit one time and exit, you can use a single entry. If you want your visitor to stay a long time and be able to exit and re-enter on the same visa, then you need to select multiple entries. Then pick the visa duration and period from the available options. Please note that this is a one-year multiple entry family visit visa application. Make sure to fill out applications for all visitors accordingly. Once you filled out all the details, click on Add. In this way, you can add multiple visitors' applications as a single application. Let me add one more applications. After you click on add all the applications, you will see a list on your screen. If you need to make any changes, click on edit. To remove an application, click on delete. When everything is complete, scroll down to enter the CAPTCHA code. And check the box agreeing to the terms and conditions. and click Save to submit your application. After submitting, a pop-up will appear, indicating that the application is submitted. Close this pop-up, then scroll down to print the application. You will need to submit this printed application to your company or sponsor to finalize the chamber process. In our next video, We'll cover how to check the chamber status online and how to download the visa application after chamber completion. Further, we will have the videos for book a VFS appointment online. We also have videos on how to check visa stamping status and download the visa after stamping. All these links are in the description below and can also be found using the i button. I hope you found this guide on applying for a family visit visa online from Saudi Arabia is helpful for you. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Easy Robotech for more tech tips and tutorials. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos and never miss out on our new content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below. We love hearing from you and will do our best to help out. Be sure to check out our other videos on checking visa stamping status and downloading visas after stamping. You will find all the links in the description below and in the i button on the top right corner of your screen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.